Hey there, Lynn. This is Mike. Um, I'm going to show you some things about levels and about the grayscale image that I'm going to update here, and hopefully this might help you out. One of the things you want to take a look at is always the histogram before you start, and the histogram is going to be able to help you out and determine what's wrong with your image. If you look at the histogram for this image itself, you'll see that this is showing you how the uh, brightness values are distributed between the darkest and lightest points in this uh, picture. And you'll notice that there's nothing on the left hand side and there's nothing on the right hand side. So what's happening here is since it's flat, no pixels at all, our image is lacking contrast. That's right, it's lacking contrast. There's nothing over here on the left, nothing over here on the right. And over on the right, Photoshop thinks it's a light, you know, at the widest point, and notice all the way on the right side, there is nothing there. So that's what the histogram tells you to do is go in to make some adjustments. To make certain adjustments here, we use the levels command. I go up to image adjustments and levels. You can also adjust it with the adjustment layer. And the histogram is the same that you see over here in the histogram palette. Uh, what's important about working with levels, you got to remember you're working with the tonal areas. And when I say tonal, I'm talking about brightness and contrast. And working with levels allows us to influence three tonal areas. Our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. We can use our sliders that we have here below the histogram, the white, the gray, and the black, to make adjustments. Um, you can also go in and use the eyedroppers over here below the options button to help you bring out the darkest and lightest points. This black slider is considered a black point slider. We have the mid-tone gamma slider, which is in the middle, and we have the white slider over here on the right. What we have to do is Photoshop assumes that the blackest point is over here on the left but there's no pixels in our image that says that's the blackest area. So we have to use our sliders here and we're going to use our highlight and black sliders to determine you know, where the whitest and darkest point is. And in this case, I'm going to move the black slider over to the right to where the pixels start. I'm also going to move the white slider to the left. There is no adjustment here where I can say you got to do this exactly. This is also visually, but generally what you want to do is bring the sliders in to where the pixels start. And not where it's like over here on the left. You want it where it starts the bigger, the bigger spikes coming in. And a lot of times you need to adjust the mid-tone areas, uh, so that way you can bring out a little more of the contrast. And all I'm doing here is I'm adjusting those three sliders. You can also set up and use the eyedroppers and the eyedroppers, you're just taking the black eyedropper and click on the darkest point, and you're taking the white eyedropper and click on the lightest point. And Photoshop will redistribute the pixels in between. As you see uh, what's happening over here in this histogram over on the right hand side. I'm going to click OK here, and notice the difference here. And notice, look at my histogram. Isn't it better? It's equally distributed between the darkest and the lightest point, and that's what we're looking for, is that type of histogram up on the right hand side. Watch when I undo it, and redo.